I've made a copy of ODB 14 form properties and renamed this to ODB 16 link pictures. And I've opened up the database. ODB 15 is our embedded pictures example and you can link pictures and embed them in the same table. I'm just separating them out because they're two different methods. I'm using the same photos of my employees that I used in the last video. Once again, to keep things simple, I'm going to keep all my photos in the same file. And as always, I'll put them out on the website in case any of you want to work along with this video. The first thing I'm going to do is go into Tables and right click to edit our employee table. Just like we did in the last video, I'm going to add a field. I'm going to call this one employee link pick. And we're going to leave this as text varchar. I'm going to save our table, close it, and save our database. Let's go into our forms right click on our form employees and edit that. I'm going over to my controls toolbar and clicking on more controls. Again we've got our image button and our image control. I'm going to click on the image control again and create my area for my photo. I'll right click on this and bring up the properties dialog box by clicking control. Let's give this a name. We'll call this IMG employees link pick. I'm also going to set our background color to light gray and give the border color the dark gray just like we did in the last video. And we need to link our data clicking on the data tab and now the down arrow under data field and I'm selecting employee link pick. I'm going back over to my general to put in some help text and I'll put in right click to add a picture. We should be set there. I'm going to save this, close it, save our table and now we're ready to open our form and put in the pictures. I'll double click we're at our first record where I can right click to add a picture. It brings up our insert graphics from button. Let's put in the first one. Oh, and if we want to delete these, I would just right click and remove graphics. It works the same whether it's embedded or it's linked. Let's go to the next one. Insert this one. And going on to the next, I've linked in all the pictures I have for my employees. Not every employee has a picture, but for all the employees that I have pictures for, I've put them into the table. It was a lot easier for me to link these in than to embed them as we did in the previous video. There is a problem with linking, and that is if you have your database on something like Dropbox, you will not be able to link the pictures. The problem with embedding the files is the file size gets so large as we saw. Here we've linked all our pictures at 64 kilobytes and we embedded them down here at 40,000 kilobytes. If the photos are embedded into the database, you do not need to have them in a file. If we have our pictures out on a file, let's go in and look at this first one again, Brian Adams. Go into the first record. It's here. If I try and update this record now, it's going to be locked. So let's go to the next record. And I'm going to rename this to Brian Adams old. And then I'm going to take my LibreOffice draw JPEG and rename this to Brian Adams. 
Now if I come back, it's been updated. So there's two ways of placing a picture on a LibreOffice base form. Yeah.